So let's understand why you shouldn't avoid adenoid surgery if the adenoid issues are recurrent and grade 4 not responding to medications. What is at risk? The most important thing which is at risk is the baby's sleep. How important is the baby's sleep? When the baby sleeps, the brain grows, develops and evolves. If it is getting actively involved in the breathing process because of the respiratory obstruction, the brain doesn't get deep rest. The deep sleep which should supposed to happen around 4 or 6 hours per, per day doesn't happen. So your brain gets involved in breathing and there is a difficulty for the kid the next day to concentrate on uh, activities which requires more concentration. His performance in the school might come down. Uh, multiple issues can get affected because just because the sleep didn't happen properly the previous night. Second thing is if the adenoid remains for a long number of years and it troubles your breathing, the shape of the face can change. Pinched nose, overcrowding of teeth, high arched palate, certain changes can happen which can change the shape of the face. Third thing is that recurrent sinus infections and recurrent ear infections can lead to more trouble again and again. So how is coblation adenoidectomy done? It uses a radio frequency technology which is delivered through a wand introduced from the mouth. So there is no cut on the skin. So the surgery is completely uh, painless, it is completely bloodless. It takes around half an hour to 45 minutes to finish the procedure and the baby can stay within the hospital uh, a day or less than 24 hours. That is enough. So the advantage of using a coagulation technology for adenoid removal, not only it is bloodless and painless, also it gives you a one-time solution. It doesn't recur back again. That is a disadvantage of the procedure being done in a conventional where there is a chance of adenoid growing back, that it's painful, there is a lot of bleeding and there is damage to the surrounding structures. So clearing a myth about the adenoid surgery, removal of adenoids does not reduce the immunity of the baby. The baby has crossed three years of age, adenoid is an organ which is not required for the body anymore. So by removing that organ which is troubling us, doesn't reduce the immunity of our body.